Championships are taking place in Ireland in 2012. We're here in City West to meet some of the fantastic people taking part in this massive event. This month on Handball TV, we take a look behind the scenes at the City West Convention Centre, which will play host to the World Handball Championships 2012. Chris Curran meets the representatives from around the world at City West, where they see the venue for the first time. City West Convention Centre. This is where the entire World Championships will take place. Uh, the majority, everybody, well most people here are going to be thinking of purely the one wall handball, but there's also going to be 40 by 20 handball. We catch up with Chris Curran, CEO of GAA Handball, as he describes his vision for the championship. It's the first time that we've tried anything of this magnitude, whereby we're going to create a purpose-built arena. We're going to put 23 courts into that arena and hopefully have an excess of 4,000 people coming through the gates every day. So very, very exciting from a handball perspective, very exciting from a GA perspective too, to know that 33 countries are coming to compete in the World Championships that was founded by the GA. We also chat to Con Moore, Vice President of the World Handball Council, who talks about how Irish world champions Paul Brady and Fiona Shannon have made it to the top. The top players in the world in the last few years are Irish people. Um, before that there were Americans. Year after year after year we had Americans, Canadians and Mexicans winning the worlds. But uh, in the last uh, three championships Paul Brady has won the men's open. Uh, unprecedented to, for anybody to win the three. But added to that Fiona Shannon from Antrim has won the three ladies and that is unprecedented as well. Pat Brennan, president of the World Handball Council, tells us how handball is the game for the whole family. Handball is a fraternity of people that are very close to one another and it involves all whole of families. Uh, people, uh, adults have to bring their children to play. Uh, a lot of children love to play handball. It's very easy to play. They don't need a lot of equipment. Uh, for parents, it's not an expensive game to get their kids involved in. So all of these factors make it a, a family activity. Peter Hannan, strategic advisor for our WWBA, speaks about the future plans for wall ball. There's about two years planning have gone into this. Today we have representatives from all over the world from three main organizations, the World Handball Council, uh, the CIJB, which is a European and uh, South American organization that are involved in the promotion of handball, and finally GA Handball. And we have worked on developing a constitution and strategic plan, and we plan to launch that in London in May um, to coincide with the Olympics in London. We catch up with Tony Hannan, ex-president of the Irish Handball Association, who talks about how One Wall Handball is growing worldwide. One Wall Handball is, is grown, it's a grown sport right all over the world. It's been played in uh, around 33 countries at the moment. So we formed a working group to look at how we could uh, improve on it, uh, manage and promote and, and develop the One Wall a game because we find that it's an easy game, uh, it's a game that a, a lot of people uh, have shown a great interest in. And finally, Joe Shocknessy, member of the WWBA executive, tells us about the new handball facilities that are opening up in Croke Park. Handball was always part of the GA, but uh, there's a new uh, centre, handball centre, being built in, in Croke Park, you know, which will, will be huge. There'll be, uh, a lot of alleys in it and it'll be, it'll be a brilliant centre when, it, when it's uh, got going. So the countdown begins right now for the World Handball Championships. Yeah.